Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Today we're working on this snap-on battery. It's a 7.2 slash 14.4 volt battery, and this one needs to be rebuilt. So, start with the basics. This is a T9 bit, star bit here. It's a miniature bit. Got two screws at the bottom. Okay, don't lose those, you want to keep them off, sit to the side. Okay, now, this battery can be a little bit tricky. You see how it's not coming open? Well, that's because these two cells are glued right here with adhesive strips, very strong actually. These two cells are glued with adhesive here. So, that's why this doesn't want to come open. Now you could force this, but at that point, you know, you, you risk tearing wires and removing contacts and not being able to figure out where they go when you want to put it back together. So the way to get this open is to take a heat gun and gently heat up this part of the battery. So let's see if we can get this open. Ooh. Well, looks like that adhesive gave out first. And honestly, that's what I'm used to seeing anyways. Hmm, looks like they used a bit, it almost looks like a gluish kind of caulk in this one. Oh, well, that makes it a little harder to get these out. Less to hold on to, but I think we can, I think we can. There we go. Oh, you could feel when the adhesive gave out in this a lot easier okay so you're gonna to want to clean off any leftover adhesive from in here doesn't feel like there's that much that's good makes our job easier okay they don't put any up at, at the top there um, it seems like there's not much so look it doesn't take much it was that hard because of this and this maybe this too Still, there's a lot. So, uh, we don't have to remove that because we're not gonna put that back on when um, we reinstall the battery. So, I do like to save these. These are good for covering up the contacts when you go to put everything back together. So, I'll carefully peel those off. Use an X-Acto blade if need be. And I'll just set this off to the side. Same with this one. Okay, so what do we have here, guys? We've got a red wire. It goes to right here. We've got a solid contact that goes from the bottom of the cell to right here. Got a black wire. Goes right here. Solid contact that goes right here. Now, as I do this rebuild, I believe I can keep this brown wire connected to here. I can keep this red wire connected to here and not have to worry about resoldering that later. If I do have to take it off, it's not the end of the world, but I think I can without. I am actually going to, hmm, maybe. I think I'm actually gonna reuse these tabs because they're all perfectly made to go at the right angles, they have the right bends. So to get these off, this is where I put my safety glasses on, by the way. It's always a good idea. Safety glasses at this point. There you go. Make sure you have yours. Because I'm going to start flicking this, and if, you know, if my knife blade were to break, I don't want to get thwacked in the eye with a piece of metal. Okay. If I remember correctly, this is the super fun part. But we'll get to that at the end. Okay, so what I do to remove these tabs is I'll loosen what I can with something super flat to get under them. And sometimes I'll take a small screwdriver to lift it up a little bit more. Sometimes these one or two of these contacts will pop off at this point, which is nice, less to fight. Then I take some pliers and I'll just 
roll it over. One just popped off. Second one just popped off. Let's do this side over here. And usually I can do this without tearing the contacts. Because then what I'll do is I'll flatten them out roughly. And then I'll take this over to my anvil and I'll hammer it flat because my uh, spot welder doesn't like uneven surfaces. So I'll hammer it so it's nice and flat, but I won't hammer it so much that I make this super thin because I want this to stay strong. It's got to stay strong. Stay strong. Okay, so that's good for that one. At this point, it's okay if it touches it. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, I do kind of like to keep it out of the way though. Next for this one. All right. Let's see if I can roll that. Yeah. One. Two. Nice. Flatten that out roughly and then flatten it the rest of the way later. Okay, this is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing on this side. I'm gonna do it off camera because that'll be boring for you guys. Um, and at that point, these two batteries will be disconnected from these two batteries. All right, I'll be right back. Thought I'd bring you back in for the last part of the tab here so you can see it disconnect. Now the only thing that's holding this on is this, there's a little plastic bracket here and it's got this red cable looped. So I can just pop that out and that's good. Now, here's where you gotta start remembering things. You can see this is offset. There's less clip, plastic clip on the black plastic clip on this side, fit a whole finger on this side. These are not centered, okay? Obviously you can tell that from here but in case you weren't paying attention. So you gotta make sure you remember at this point which one of these is longer, sorry, <laughs> longer, which one's shorter, all right? Because you're gonna wanna put it back the same way because these, the new batteries will actually seat very nicely in here. And you can see it's got channels for those metal tabs to run. So they're inset like that, okay? These are free. Remember, you got two positive ends on there, two negative ends on here. So you're gonna wanna do the same thing. So at this point, I start bringing in my new cells. Before I put them to work, I'm going to want to make sure they're all good and healthy. Now these cells are rated to be 3.7 volts. Some places will call that 3.6. These might be a little bit low. I'm fine with that. I'm fine if they're 3.3, 3.4. As long as they're roughly the same, They'll all charge up and be charged and discharged at the same rate. So that's fine. These are all great. Okay. So we had our longer end on here. We got positive and positive. Now to get that to stay, I'm going to put a dab of glue in here um, so they don't go sliding around on me. Make sure you have that evened up here because um, you don't want you don't want them out. Well. Just pay attention to what everything is as you take it apart. You should be okay. Dab a glue on each end so I can get that to stay. Now, let's set these things aside here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these tabs off of here the rest of the way. You know how to take tabs off at this point. So I'm not gonna teach you, I'm not gonna show that on camera again. So, we'll tune back in in a second to do the top. All right, while you guys were away, I went ahead and I flattened all this out on the anvil. So these are all nice and flattened out again. All right, did that to everything here. Now, we get the fun part. Now we're gonna take these off. Now, getting them off is a lot less interesting than 
resolder in the back on later. So that's good at least. So you should come in with a small screwdriver, just like we did with the other tabs. You should be a tab removing pro by now. I try to get under it. gives me something to grab onto. When you're taking this apart, there's a lot less here that you could accidentally touch together and create an arc, because um, we've disconnected so much. But at, on that flip side of this, when we have so many things connected at the end, there's a lot more things we can short out here and create a little spark, so just be careful. Okay. That gives us something to grab onto. So now we have these bent up, bent out of shape, you could say. We're gonna pry away. Again, just be careful what you're touching. All right, we've got this one loose, so we're just gonna make sure it doesn't come in contact with too many other things. We're gonna go ahead and do this one now. There's one side. how easy it is guys check that out all right so this one's facing up remember that and our up one tell you what let's grab our sharpie and up here we're gonna put a little plus to indicate that the plus is up on this side that's definitely a plus mark in case you're wondering over here we got the negative up Just remember. All right, we're gonna take these over to our anvil. They fold out like this. We're gonna flatten things out. We'll be right back. All right, with everything flattened out here, what I would love to be able to do is just simply put this here and bring my spot welder down and tap this right onto there. However, I found that these tabs are thicker and stronger, but thicker than mine. And so my spot welder doesn't usually like to do very strong welding spots with these. Um, I can get them to stick, but I can never get them to really take, not reliably enough. So what I'll be doing is putting on a tab. Let's see if I can pick the tab up there. Putting on a tab, and then we're gonna be bending over this tab here. And then either tapping it down or soldering it down. We'll see. So, let's get these attached. Okay, here we go. That's on. Now, if you don't have one of these fancy machines at home, that's okay. You can take a knife, score this, or this, lots and lots, and that, what that does is that allows the surface that is scratched up to be heated up much more easily by a soldering iron. Um, and then you'll be able to melt your solder on there, get a nice bead, and attach your tab. Try it, let me know how that goes for you. Okay, now most of the time I'll do this side last, but uh, it almost makes more sense to do it first so we don't have to worry about shorting things out like I was warning you about. So, Let's get these up in here first, and then we'll take care of the rest of the pack. All right, so we got our negative. Gonna bend this so it's straight up here. Gonna feed this up into here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Oh, no, wait a minute. I think we want that on the other side. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna do the same with this one, our 
positive. Feed this up through here. <coughs> there we go. Now, similar to the other batteries, I'm gonna put a little drop of glue on here just to keep it in place. So these sort of wrap around and come down. So we've got this started here. Now I can tell that this, this tab is going to be a bit long. It's going to overlap a little too much, so we're going to shorten that. So now what I want, I want this tip to go down, get in place, and then I'll push the back down with my finger here. And this is going to want to pop out of place immediately. So I'm just going to, I'm going to tell it where to go with this little screwdriver here. Tell it who's boss. Okay, look at that, it's staying. And now we're gonna, we can either solder this on at this point, or we can tap. Now I am gonna try to tap this on. All right, we'll get this one in place as well. Again, get the tip in first. It's a little bit snug, and the reason is because before this tab wasn't here, and so this pretty much takes up all this space, which means this tab is in the way. So we've got to try to make this as small and out against the side as possible. Get that tip in. Oh, look, it looks like it's staying. That's what we want. That's good. This is going to be a little long. Okay. Take this down. Good. Yeah, it would be easy to solder. But I'm going to tap it. I figured that would happen. I think that uh, right leg hit the split there, or it was one of the pre-existing holes. Not surprised. Well, I was surprised, but not surprised that it happened. Okay, just wanna make sure this is all the way in there. All right. Same on this side. Okay, that's on there nicely. I'm gonna do one more tap on this side just for good measure. Okay, that actually went very smoothly. I'm glad we did this first instead of last. A lot less sparks this time around. All right, so now we gotta figure out how to get this back onto here, right? So we know it goes like this. Let's sit down in there nicely. We gotta get this on to here and then onto here. So what you're seeing me do here is I'm putting on new tabs and I'm going to use those new tabs to overlay the old pre-existing tabs that we're reusing just like we did on the top of this. So here you see me do a dry fit here because I have to match up the angle of these two pre-existing uh, nickel tabs to the grooves in the black plastic. So I'm doing a dry fit there without tapping those tabs on. And I'm going to go back, make sure they're in the right spot, and tap them on their final resting spot. All 
All right, I'm gonna put a couple more tabs on here and these will wrap around those contacts we were just working on. Of course, it's gonna be too long, so we'll shorten them. And we'll do that to each side here. Bring this over. We can start setting this back up now. So this green PC board here fits into this slot here. So make sure you have that nestled in. And then if it doesn't nest well in there, it could be because either this red wire or the brown wire on the back side is getting in the way. So just wiggle everything a little bit. It should pop down in there. There we go. Make sure your tabs are aligned. All right. At this point, we can secure this brown wire if you want to. Same with this red one. We'll just anchor it a little more. And, all right. Now we start attaching things. So let's start with these. Let's start with these easy ones. Okay. So this is gonna sit here. I'll wrap this over. Again, you can solder these or you can tap these, it does not matter. It's on there. All right. There's one. Exciting guys, we're almost done here. Okay, let's get that one on there. Now at this point you do want to be careful, make sure you know this doesn't reach over here or something and contact everything and zap something. But other than that, it should be okay. Try to do this so you guys can see. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, I'll finish this up. I'll see you at the end of the video. All right, guys, so just wanna make sure this is working before we put it back together. Uh, one cell was 3.47 volts. We're getting about seven here, just shy. And that's what we would have had. 3.5 plus 3.5. So there we are. So this is working. That's good. All right, now I am not gonna put slews of adhesive in here. What I will do is I'll put these protective covers back on. That way, just in case anything slips into the case, maybe little metal bits as the guys are working with these know and they slide down to the bottom you know who knows i don't know it'll at least decrease vibration so the last thing to pick take note of see this little d shape right here and right here got to match that up on here okay so right now you can see i'm turned around so that's going to match okay so that should nestle in there nicely feel very secure Similarly, they should nestle over here nicely. See little glue flakes. We could probably get rid of those at this point. Sweet. 
putting this back together. I want to be nice to have this working again. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. All right. If you're not able to get it that shut, then double check that you have those little two, two little Ds in the right direction. We're going to put our screws in. That should pull this together the rest of the way. Guys, thank you so, so much for checking out this video. I know it's been a long time coming since I put out the other video where I just went over how this rebuild is done. This one, you actually get to see it done. Thank you for your patience. It's taken a while to get around to this. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you learned something. Guys, please like this video if you don't mind. A big thumbs up. It really helps my channel. It really helps spread the video out there in the algorithm. I can't say that I know how the algorithm works, but I know that the better positive feedback I get with shares and likes and comments and engagement, the more this video gets out there and that really helps my channel. So I put a lot of work into this. I could have just done this off camera for myself and uh, been done with this half an hour ago, but I'm doing this for you guys because I know that you are interested in how this rebuild goes. So please give me a thumbs up if you don't mind as your way of saying thanks. If you have any feedback, uh, ways you would have done this differently, uh, or if you did this successfully or unsuccessfully, I would love to know your experience. Um, you can either send me an email at jubiforlife at gmail.com or drop me a comment here and I will read every comment. I love your comments. I, uh, I look for new comments every day. Um, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. And, uh, I really appreciate you tuning in. See ya.